Okay, so in this 10th chapter, we're going to go over protocols for PRF. So we'll talk about membranes, making sticky bone, uh, making extended PRF, making the bio bone. So we're going to review each one of these protocols one by one. Um, and we'll go through kind of the protocols that we use on the centrifuge and then what you as a clinician has to do step by step thereafter. So the first thing that we should discuss is just making standard platelet-rich fibrin clots. So when we want to do this, it's typically a three-step procedure. You're always going to centrifuge at the 700 uh, G-force for eight-minute protocol. Remove the lids, wait five minutes, and that's to allow for the clot to form. And then you can remove uh, from the tube. So it's very straightforward. Of course, this is what we'll use, for example, for third molars. You know, you don't need to make the plugs. You're just going to make the clots, and away you go. So very simply put, like I said, you're just gonna wait those five minutes. This is obviously the easiest protocol. You spin, after the spin cycle, pop the lids, wait five minutes. Of course, here we've spun with uh, the more hydrophilic tubes that we've discussed previously, so you can see the membranes are a little bit bigger. A couple of key concepts with respect to this is that ideally you do not want to remove too much of the red zone layer. So as we've reviewed in chapter two, that red zone is very rich in cells. Um, and if you do need to remove the red zone, like I said, you can use one of the instruments uh, in the kit just to basically peel it off. One of the things that you definitely do not want to do is that that full size PRF membrane, always remember the majority of the cells are found here at the bottom. We have to make sure that you're not going to cut the membrane, let's say a quarter of the way up here into the plasma and remove all those cells because that's the most concentrated area. So that's the protocol to make a simple PRF clot.